certainly headline uh, in any arena around the world and could be a main event in its own. Uh, it's the fight about between Carlos Molina and Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner was uh, considered as the next uh, Mayweather or the first Broner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he was uh, considered as the young rising star. And then he had, of course, as we all know, a little setback. Sometimes these setbacks happen, they happen for a reason. And I think what it does, it shows the fighter as well who are his true friends. Uh, there is always a lesson to be learned. And those people who think that uh, they can just write off Adrian Broner, they're going to be wrong because Adrian is one committed young man, young fighter, uh, and he's going to show you guys on Saturday night what's, what he's all about. But talking about committed and young fighter and hungry, and a fighter who wants to seize the opportunity and the moment is a fighter from Norwalk, California, with a record of 17-1-1. One and one. Uh, He feels it is his time. He is going to come here to give Broner the toughest fight and wants to give Broner his second loss. Uh, he is as motivated as you can be. Uh, he's a very talented boxer puncher and is eager to get back into the title hunt. It's a pleasure for me to introduce to you Carlos Molina. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first off, I want to thank God. Um, you know, I want to thank my manager, Frank Espinoza, um, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, and uh, Mayweather Promotions for putting on this uh, great card. Um, you know, uh, we're ready, man. Uh, come, come Saturday night. Um, you know, it's pay per view, so, so you know, we're 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 gonna we're gonna go for broke on this one. You know, we're 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 letting our hands fly, and uh, you know, expect a great performance from Carlos Molina. I know I'm I'm gonna. I'm going to get uh, a lot of great fans after, after, this, uh, after this victory. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Carlos. He's a former world title holder in three weight classes. He's young, he's flashy, well-spoken, he's exciting, uh, draws huge crowds. Some love him, some hate him. Uh, and uh, he is here to start the next chapter. The next chapter of the Adrian Broner story is going to start right here on Saturday night, Saturday night, May 3rd. He's going to be on the card of his big brother, Floyd Mayweather, um, and uh, this is going to be a very special moment uh, for Adrian. He's one of the most talked about fighters in boxing today, and without question as well, one of the most talented. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to introduce to you the former three weight three weight division world champion Adrian Broner. Um, I want to thank God. Um, I want to thank um, Golden Boy. Floyd Mayweather Promotions, um, and um, I'm just coming to fight. You know, I'm um, I'm humbled. I don't trash talk no more, and you know, I'm just giving you guys what you want to see out of me. Get the hell out of here! Hey, what's up? <laughs> If y'all thought a loss was gonna humble me or put me in my place, well, then y'all can just shove that right up y'all ass, man. <laughs> Listen, I come to do damage, man. I'm, I'm punching with bad intentions, and um, I'm back on my A-game. You know, uh, you know I'm, I, I'm thankful. I'm thankful God really slowed me down and showed me um, what he had gave to me. He can take it away at any time, and, I, and I'm very thankful for that. But at the end of the day, man, we got to get back to business. I'm still that three-time world champion in three different weight classes. I'm still that same fresh, fly, flashy, young, hungry young man. And um, I kind of feel disrespected. The only, the only, the only thing that's keeping me, keeping me on top of water is I'm on my big brother undercard. Other than that, man, I'm a main event fighter. No disrespect to nobody on this car. I'm a main event fighter. Yeah, I'm a main event fighter. You can put Adrian Brown anywhere and motherfuckers don't come see me. Because this whole crowd, damn near, all these, all, they all messing. They love Adrian Brown. You know why? Because they want to see him lose. <laughs> or they want to see him win. Or they want to see me talk shit. And that's what I do. 
So, you know, you put Carlos Molina in front of me, that's kind of disrespectful to me. So I'm gonna make an example out of this motherfucker. He talking about something he gonna go for broke. Shit. And he already broke, he maintain it. She getting the biggest payday he ever got, and he about to get his ass whooped. And that's what's about to happen. AB is still AB, about billions. I'm about the beard now. <laughs> so, so man, I come to do damage, man. And, and really, I really ain't come to do much trash talking because he ain't said a word. He, ain't, he really ain't said a word. So, so you know, I'm going to let my hands do the talking. And um, no homo, but he getting it off the ding, ding. Ding, ding. I holler. Well, that wasn't a lot of trash talking <laughs> by Broner standards. <laughs> well, uh, we were talking, uh, Adrian is absolutely right. As I said, it certainly could have filled up the venues anywhere um, and it would be a main event uh, on its own. We're proud to have it here on this card and the same can be said without any question for the next five.